Hi there everyone! My name is Shauna J. Grant and I am the creator of Mimi and the Cutie Catastrophe. And it tells a story about a little girl named Mimi who wants to prove that she is more than just cute. And she does that with the help of her best friend, her magical talking toy dog, Penelope. At the heart of the story, it's really about being true to yourself because you shouldn't let anyone box you into one thing. You could be cute and strong, you could be cute and smart, and you could be cute and cool, and all of that is okay. What's most important is that you are happy with who you are. The reason I came up with a story about Mimi is because when I was growing up, I kind of had trouble figuring out how I wanted to view myself too. And I know that's something that kids have trouble with today still. So I really wanted to do a story about a little girl that looked like me and who may look like many of you out there and just, you know, have art that could really connect with someone because one of the greatest things about making comics is being able to connect with your readers with shared experiences. I think it's so important to draw stuff that you feel passionate about, you know, stories that are true to yourself and at the end of the day, just something that you're really, really going to have fun with. Because I think the more fun that you have with art, the better. So let me tell you a little bit about my art process. So when making Mimi, what I started out with is with something called an outline, which is basically a big summary about what happens in the story chapter by chapter with Mimi and all of her friends. And once my editor at Graphics approves of it, and we're all like, yeah, the story is going to be really cool. I get to do what we call thumbnails, which are little um, scribbles just to show where I want to have all the panels and the layouts and stuff. You're writing and drawing your comic all at the same time, and it's really useful. So once I thumbnail the whole book, I get to do the hard part, which is also really fun, which is actually drawing the whole book. So once I draw everything, which is called penciling, I get to ink it and letter it, which is just going over all the lines with some nice black ink or I do stuff digitally, but it's still, you know, still kind of like the same. And so after I ink everything and letter everything, I get to color, which is super duper fun because who doesn't love coloring, right? So after all of that is done, I send all my pages to graphics and do do do. this is what happens at the end. You have a whole book. <laughs> it's, it's really, really cool. And um, yeah, I just, I love making comics and I don't think you can start drawing like too soon or even too late. Like all that matters really is that you're doing something that you enjoy, okay? So remember, the most important thing about doing comics and art in general is the best art is the art that you have the most fun doing, okay? So I'm really excited to see everything that you guys come up with, all right? So get out there and draw. It's your turn.